The sprocket attaches to and drives the rear blade pulley. The sprocket is driven by a chain that connects it to the output spindle. The sprocket has plastic cogs that act as a safety to protect the rest of the drivetrain. If the saw is bound up or overloaded, the plastic sprocket cogs will break off, protecting the more expensive and difficult to replace motor drive gears. Replacing the sprocket is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. I'll begin by removing the drive pulley. Now remove the chain and the sprocket. Now remove the chain from the old sprocket and install it onto the new. Now install the new sprocket and chain onto the drive pulley. You'll notice that there's two sides to the sprocket, one with a flat metal piece and the other side with these notches. The notches should be facing out. Now I can reinstall the drive pulley. I need to line up these tabs on the back with the notches in the sprocket. It helps to have the sprocket centered as much as you can on the spindle before ins uh, installing the drive pulley. There we go. Now I can secure it with the screws. This plastic washer goes in the center along with the metal washer and the screw. And that's all it takes to install a new sprocket on your bandsaw.